I'm doing wonderful, and you? I am doing great. Thank you so much for taking some time out today to come on with us. Uh, Absolutely, anytime. So, so how is the life of Danielle Peck right now? I know it is a roller coaster experience. What is uh, just just take us take us through a, a, just a little bit of what's been going on in your world the last few months? Well, every day is a different city. So every 24 hours, you know, I don't get to spend too much time in one place. Um, you know, we've, we've got a brand new video out for oh, my new song, Bad For Me. We've got a photo shoot for the next record that I'm working on right now. We're going to have brand new music out for everybody by the top of the top of January, 08. Wow. And, um, yeah, I've been traveling around doing a lot of shows and seeing a lot of beautiful parts of the country and just meeting so many great people out there. It's been a lot of fun. Now, I, I know you got some uh, some roots there in Nashville, but have you ever been right up uh, I-65 there from Nashville to Bowling Green before? You ever been to Bowling Green? Yes, I have. I, you know, um, that's right, the, the home of the Corvette. That's uh, the museum. You know what? I haven't been to that museum yet. Well, it's been a great ride so far for you. When did you know that you wanted to do this? Oh, goodness. I grew up with it. You know, I thought everybody wanted to. It was you know, how I was raised, and, you know, everybody in my family loved music and country music and performed. So I grew up thinking that was natural. High school, where I noticed all my friends were playing ball and I was playing bars, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Uh, a little bit of a difference there, um, but uh, seriously, I've just loved it all my life, and, and entertaining and performing has been a passion forever, wow. and um, like everybody, when they first move to Nashville, they think they're going to get signed right away, but they got to take a job waiting tables or something right. like that, you know, just to make ends meet until they do get, you know, to see some dreams come true, and that's what I did, with tables for a couple of years, got a publishing deal, uh, started writing my own music, and um, and then I got signed, so... That's the, the little fairy tale life that I'm living right now. Very cool, very cool. Now, what's it like when you meet? Yeah, I know you get to meet so many of your great fans, but I know it's got to be cool when you get to meet, you know, like you know, like young girls out there who want to kind of follow in your footsteps. What's it kind of like being a role model to these girls? And what what do you what would you tell some of the some of the aspiring young ladies out there who who maybe want to have a future in not just country music but the music industry in general? What kind of advice can you pass on to them? I think that if they have it in their heart and they set their mind to it, they can do anything. All they got to do is not quit. All they have to do is keep their focus and go for it. You know, right. anything's possible, and any dream could come. Wow. Very... I'm living my dream right now, and I think that's the best advice I could give them is to never stop. Wow. I like to ask everybody this when I get to have somebody on uh, that, that, that is in the music industry. What was it like? Can you tell me the moment the first time you heard one of your songs played on the radio for the first time? First time I heard my first song, I don't, which I've had, I don't find that a good man, isn't that everything, and now my new one, Bad For Me. Uh, the very first time I heard my first song on the radio, I was on tour with Toby Keith, and we were out west somewhere, up in the northwest, and we were just driving around this one town before the show, and it wasn't, you know, it was, it, it just came up, and I didn't call for an interview, and I didn't, you know, know it was going to play at a certain time, so it very much caught me off guard, and it was a lot of fun to hear. Wow. Because I was very excited. I knew it was being played out there, but living for myself, and I did. Very, very cool. Now, uh, you're going to be in Bowling Green, of course, Saturday night at the uh, Balloons, Tunes, and Barbecue Festival on stage with uh, with Eric Church. Uh, do you know Do you know Eric? Or do you Have you guys played much together, or will this be like the first meeting for you guys? Uh-oh, you want to say that again? Uh, so, uh, now, do you know Eric Church? Have you got a chance to meet him before? Have you got a chance to perform with him before? Uh, yeah, what, what do you Yes, we've actually done some shows together, and he's a great guy, great entertainer, great performer. The ladies love him, and uh, <laughs> I, it'll be a great show. There you go. Well, we're excited about it. It's uh, Saturday night, Balloons, Tunes, and Barbecue Festival out at the uh, airport here in Bowling Green. I tell you, it's so cool to get you on, and thank you so much for taking some time out for us today. Where can folks uh, find out more about you at? You got the uh, website going there? You got all that yes, stuff happening? Yes, absolutely. Uh, my website is DaniellePeck.com. Yes. And my MySpace, uh, Danielle Peck Music. So come on there and check it out. And uh, I try to answer back to as many people as possible every day. I take a couple hours to sit down and talk to people, so... Send me, send me a message. Let me know you're coming to the show. Awesome. We look forward to it. Daniel, thanks for taking time out for us today. Have a great, uh, great, great, great uh, rest of your week, and we look forward to seeing you Saturday night, Balloons, Tunes, and Barbecue. We will see you there, okay? We'll see you there. Send me some barbecue.